Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. Um, I talk on a variety of issues and sometimes it's based on what people send to me, sometimes it's based on um, information I've subscribed to, sometimes it's just about whatever's in the media. Today I received an article about missing children in America and um, 424,000 black children missing. So then I thought, I wonder how many there are missing in the UK? 306,000 a year. Apparently, one child goes missing every 90 seconds. Well, not necessarily one child, but one person goes missing every 90 seconds. And what it made me think about was, you know, when planes go missing, at least when planes go missing, well, it's the same thing, really. When planes go missing and there's people on board, the survivors never know if those, those people are coming back or what happens to them. And so they're always living in hope that one day that person is not really dead, that they're coming through the door. It must be the worst feeling ever. It's like abandonment. When you wake up one day and your husband or your wife has left or your partner just leaves without saying a word and you're always thinking, what happened? Is he dead? What was the last thing I did? What was the last thing I said? You're forever wondering, what happened? Are they coming back? The same with missing children. I can imagine the parents they must be wondering what happened. You know, and especially if you have a conflict with your child and your child takes it badly and walks out of the house and you, in your anger, you'll say, go and don't come back. And that child doesn't come back. And you never hear from that child again. Or well, sometimes you do, but it's bad news. What? How do you live with that? What happens? Are you always on the alert? Are you always looking over your shoulder? Are you always hoping that that child is coming back? So in those kind of scenarios, there's no peace for those survivors of somebody who's disappeared. There's no peace because you just don't know. And that's the worst feeling ever. Now, there's a lot of conspiracy theories around children who go missing. I'm not qualified to comment on that. I don't know why children go missing. I remember Madeleine McCann, and I remember a lot of us were saying, oh, you know, why would, two, why would parents go off, leave a child in a strange country, and go off raving or wherever they went, and leave a child at home alone? A normal parent wouldn't do that. They wouldn't leave a three-year-old child alone, not unless they thought, well, maybe that's what they did in London. We don't know the circumstances. But when things like that happen, you know, you, ha you ha as individuals, we have a lot of questions. Why would that happen? And with the British police, that's one thing I love about them. They're persistent and they're stealth and they have stealth. And they keep on until they find. If there's any um, misdemeanor going on with Madeleine McCann, they will find it. But she went missing in 2003. We're now 2019, which means she is 16 years old now. She's a teenager, if she's still alive. Um, there's theories that you know, there was an accident, she died. There's so many theories. We do not know the truth. But this is all to say, why do children or even adults, at least with adults, you can kind of understand normally it's a relationship breakup. They walk off, you know, or they, they end up homeless and you don't know where they are. And there's lots of different reasons why adults disappear. And I don't think so much with adults, it's human trafficking. I think it's more with children, but it could be with vulnerable adults who get pulled in, especially young adults. 
who might have once again had an argument with their mum. They meet up with a trafficker or a pimp or something. They feel vulnerable, they're offered money and off they go and you never hear or see of them again. The only scary thing with that is that when children are taken when they're young and then sometimes they're found 12 or 13 years later or they, these people say that they are who they say are, then you never know really if that person, you're so happy that that person's come back. You don't even know if that person is the right person. And you're not likely to say, oh, look, um, let's go and do a DNA test. I want to make sure you're my child. You're not going to do that. You're just going to be so relieved. But the thing is, is that, you know, there's just too many of them just going missing. And it's not like it's in the news. I mean, for one to go every 90 seconds, I'm surprised. It isn't mainstream news. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe the parents are not making enough of fuss. Maybe the parents are so separate and apart. And for each parent who loses a child, that is their individual grief. And they have to deal with that. And yes, they'll report it to the police. And yes, there'll be a search. And I think they, I don't know how long they search for, but then when the search is called off, it's left to the parents' devices. And sometimes the parents fear the worst. Sometimes those parents are in limbo for years and years and years. And we don't know. So I just wondered if anybody else had any thoughts about why children go missing. Yes, they, they say there's paedophile rings and, you know, they're taken for sex exploitation and children who leave home in a huff end up in precarious situations. But I would have thought there'd be a much more louder noise about it. And I'm surprised there isn't. But, you know, thank God my, child, my children are grown, so I don't have to worry about that. But when you think that that is the, the, the um, those are the statistics. I can't believe it. One every 90 seconds, a child goes missing. And the thing is, is that they said reported incidents are 306,000. So those might be where somebody calls and says, look, somebody's gone missing. And then maybe that person turns up. I don't know what they mean by 306,000 incidents are reported. That's the only thing I can think. But then I don't know why that would come under missing, not unless they're missing for a certain period. And as long as they're missing for a certain period, that qualifies under missing persons. I just think, wow, you know, missing planes, missing people. Now we've got missing dogs. I heard somebody talking about it at work today. Their dog has gone missing. And then you see that a lot, don't you? You see little notices go up, you know, my dog has gone missing. And the thing is, with animals, with dogs, they're normally quite loyal. But there's a cat that's outside. He walks out, he, he sleeps underneath my car. And he, any t he or she, I don't know what, it, what gender it is, but any time it sees me, you know, it gives me those little eyes and I look at it and it's like we can communicate. But I know that if I show that, that, that cat any kind of affection or, well, any kind of affection, let me leave it there or give it food or something, that cat will end up in my house. It'll find its way in because that's what they do. And I think, you know, some people, that's what they do. I think they, they're lonely. They, they see a stray dog or what they think is a stray dog or a stray cat. They take it in their homes, they get attached to it, they don't want to let it go. And so maybe it's the same with children. I have no idea. Maybe people who haven't got children just see a child, they're envious of a child walking around. And, you know, sometimes, I don't know if you've seen this, but you see parents, they've got children, and they're walking ahead. They're not even looking behind to see what's happening with the child. The child is there skipping and going into one shop and coming out. The amount of times I've had to say to a child, where is your mother? And she's shrugging her shoulders or the mother's in a different shop and she's just rushed out and realised she hasn't got her kid with her. The amount of times in a mall that has happened. And yet there are people who will look at that and say, 
my God, you know, I've wanted children. I haven't got children. That mother doesn't care for that child. I'm going to take that child. The only thing I wouldn't, well, maybe if you give the child sweets or something, but I can't imagine children just willingly going off with a stranger unless they've been brought up not to, um, not to fear strangers. I remember in my day, we couldn't speak to strangers regardless. You know, you'd never speak to a stranger. But now, you know, systems change. Everybody's kind of trying to be this um, polite, kind, nicey, nicey. And where's it getting you? People are going off. You give a, a kid a lollipop or you give them some money and, and, and they're theirs. That's basically, they can be bought and sold. And that's what's happening with this society now. Everything is so materialistic that children can be bought and sold. They can say they're going to get trainers, give them, offer them a nice trainers. What the hell is that? I didn't say hello, Google. Anyway, I can't even say it too loud. Otherwise, <laughs> he'll think I'm asking it a question. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this on too long. But it is typical because children can be bought and sold now. You know, you offer them sweets, you offer them a nice dress, you tell them you're going to take them to Disney World, you tell them you're going to buy them the latest um, outfit, designer outfit, or you're going to get them a nice watch, or you're going to get them a smartphone. The children are so materialistic, they'll go. So we do not know how these children have been raised. We do not know whether it's just unfortunate that they've been taken and it's not the parent's fault. The parent hasn't done anything at all to want that child being taken over. That child hasn't been, isn't, been, hasn't been raised materialistically. It's just an unfortunate train of events, but we just don't know. All we know is that one child is being snapped up every 90 seconds. We know there's child exploitation. We know there's paedophilia. We know that um, children are turning up dead all over the place. We know this, but we don't know why and how it's happening on such a grand scale. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. And that's all for now. Not a very nice subject, but hey, we can't, it can't rain the sun. Well, not rain, it's raining now. The sun can't shine every day. Bye-bye.